Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to make one final alternative using the June 2020 paper pumpkin kit. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Over the past few days, I have been sharing alternatives using the June 2020 paper pumpkin kit, which is called a box of sunshine. Up on the screen now, I'm sharing a look at each of the cards I have created. If you're interested in seeing how these were made and finding out more about them, I do have my June playlist linked in the description box below. For today's card, I have been inspired by some cards that I've seen recently posted either on Pinterest or on Instagram, where there's usually a piece or two of patterned paper and it's a pretty large size it would probably fill the card if it were sitting straight but they're like kind of angled and hanging off the card so I wanted to give that a try today with my last full-size card base from the kit in front of me are the supplies that I am planning on using I have an idea in my head of what I want it to look like but it might turn out just a little bit different like it usually does before I get started on the process, which when I do that, I'll go to a voiceover, I wanted to share with you those products that I'll be using. If I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. From the stamp set, which I have already gotten ready for how I store it, if you wanna know how I store my paper pumpkin kits, I will leave that video link in the description box below. From the stamp set, I plan on using the Sending and Sunshine stamps. Just like yesterday's card, I got out some scraps to use in the card today. This was just a leftover piece where it has some of the gold foiled lines. I'm not sure if I might want to use that, just like a little strip of it, so I got that out. And then I got out what was left from the card that I made yesterday. Today I plan on using the two lemon outlines and the two leaf outlines. I got out the polka dotted labels, I might use a skinny one, and then I got out one of the lemons and one of the leaf dyes. The, the card base I have left for today is kind of the orangey red alcohol ink piece, and I grabbed the sequins of course, because you know I love to add those. From my own stash, I got out my Versamark ink and my Detail White Embossing Powder. I'm going to be stamping and embossing the sentiment. I'll be adding a little texture to my card using this Cuddlebug Dots embossing folder. If you have any embossing folders in your stash, I would suggest Dots. Like, I could probably get by with just this single one. I love it so much. I got out a top folding white card base, and then I got out a couple scraps of red cardstock. This I'm planning on using for the mat of my orange piece, and this I'm going to use for the sentiment. I just cut a strip that was an inch tall. I'm not sure yet how much I'll have to cut off the ends. Let's get crafty! To get started today, I pulled out my Misty so I could stamp my sentiment. I am going to use my Misty on this just in case I need to stamp the sentiment twice. This allows me to hold that piece of paper exactly where I need it if I do need to double stamp. I did go ahead and place both the stamps for the sentiment, the sunshine and the hello. Once I had those in place, I got them on the top of my Misty, used my embossing buddy on my piece of cardstock, and got that stamped and then I heat embossed it. Since I'm pulling out my tidy tray here, I thought I would just give you a heads up. Always make sure to empty your tidy tray completely before you put the next powder in. I didn't realize it, but I had left some gold embossing powder in there. So when I poured it back into my jar, now I have gold embossing powder in my detail white. Oops. 
My next step was to do the cutting. I sliced off the front of the card and I left that at the same size as it originally was because later when I put it on the card front, I'll be cutting quite a bit off of it so I don't need to do any cutting right now. The back part I will actually use for my texture piece on the card front and I cut this down to five inches tall, sorry, five and a quarter inches tall by four inches wide. Once that last piece was ready to go, it was time to add the texture or the embossing. I placed it into my folder and then ran it through my cuddle bug. And here's a close up look at those dots. Next, I grabbed out the piece of red cardstock and I added adhesive to my alcohol ink looking piece and I put that onto the red cardstock. Now you'll notice here that I have an even border on the bottom and the right side. There isn't any red on the top left because later I will be cutting that off. I then put adhesive on the back of the embossed piece and you'll notice there it had some red cardstock on the back. That's because I accidentally put that on the wrong cardstock. Now it's time to do some fussy cutting. Most of this I do do off camera. I just go around the outside of the lemons and the leaves and cut that extra white cardstock off. Once I had all the pieces cut off and I put the lemons up against the alcohol inked piece, I realized that they would not stand out enough. My original plan was to put them on the pattern paper piece with the leaves, but since that wasn't going to look good, I played a little bit with the layout and I decided to put these two leaves on the green background so they would just peek out from the edge of that pattern paper piece. For this, I got out my art glitter glue and just spread a thin line of glue on the back, placed it onto the embossed piece, and then I set a stamp block on it and let it dry for five minutes. Now I know I usually don't chat too much about non-crafty stuff during my process videos, but I did want to share something exciting for me today. While I was putting this card together, I was listening to the Hamilton soundtrack, and I don't know if you're a Hamill fan like me, but today the official trailer came out for the production that's going to be on Disney+, Plus, and I am super duper excited. I was watching that trailer, I watched it probably 10 times, and I kept getting chills. I am so excited. Let me know below if you're a Hamill fan as well. I will link the YouTube video below if you want to go check it out for yourself. Now back to card making. Once my leaves were dry, I pulled off the Scotch Blue removable tape I had used to hold them together, and then I got out all of the goodies to put together on my card. The first thing I did was add adhesive to the back of the pattern paper piece and then I placed that onto my card front at an angle. Once I had that down, I just took out my scissors and these are non-stick and I cut off the excess around the edges. Next, I spent some time kind of playing around with the layout, trying to figure out where I wanted everything to go. You might notice that I did pull out the sun die cut and a second set of leaves. I was thinking the sun might help the lemon stand out from the background. Once I had everything where I thought I might like it, I decided that I would put those starburst lines or the sunburst lines, sorry, behind my sentiment tag. I shortened them a little bit and then I placed adhesive on the back of my sentiment strip and adhered these to it. That was when I decided that I wanted to angle those in. So you'll see that I got out my scissors and just tried to cut in as best as I could while they were still adhered down. Once I had that cut, I added adhesive to the back and placed it on the front of my card. I did align this so the straight edge was to the right, and then once again, I got out my nonstick scissors and cut off what was hanging over. Next, I added adhesive to the back of my sun and I tucked that in behind my sentiment strip. Once I knew where I wanted the lemon to go, I got out a sheet of Stampin' Dimensionals and it was pretty much just the scraps of it. I added some pieces to the back of my lemon and then popped that up on the card front. 
Once that was in place, I put adhesive on the back of each of the leaf die cuts and added those in behind the lemon. Now while you're watching me finish this, I want to remind you that I will be back in the next day or two with a little Q&A about my clear cards. I got lots of questions after I shared those the other day, so I wanted to stop by and answer some of them. The last thing for my card was to add some sequins. I placed three of those onto the card front and here are some close up looks. If you enjoyed getting to see how I made today's card, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.